This is being considered to be liquid gold in many cities. A lot of pharmacies and stores sold out of liquid hand sanitizer as fear of COVID-19 spreads. But did you know you can make your own? Hundreds of how to make your own hand sanitizer videos are popping up online as supply of the factory made version begins to dwindle. There's some panic starting around this virus and so people are looking for ways to create their own and as well it is a way for, for people who are uh, viral internet posters to kind of get their names out there and get some views. When it comes right down to it, hand sanitizer is made up of two key ingredients. You have your isopropyl alcohol and you have aloe vera. Most recipes call for one part aloe vera to two parts rubbing alcohol. Give it a stir, and then you put it in a bottle. In fact, some recipes even say you can use alcohol like vodka. Okay, simple enough to make, but how effective is it? It can be, right? If you're using the right concentrations of isopropyl alcohol and in the right proportions with the aloe vera gel, it can be effective in preventing the spread of disease and destroying some of those bacteria and viruses that might be on your hands. But it doesn't mean you should use it. There are some key differences between the store-bought sanitizer and your homemade version that over time will become quite evident. Things that you'll buy in the store have other ingredients that are added to them that help uh, be a little bit more gentle on your hands. And if you're making something at home, you may not be getting the proportions exactly right and you may be actually causing yourself more harm than good. As for the recipes with vodka and gin? The gin or the vodka you're buying over the counter is not as strong as the isopropyl alcohol you might be able to get or the things that are in hand sanitizer. So it could be effective in a real pinch, but it wouldn't uh, be as strong as a disinfectant. Better to sit back and enjoy that rather than waste it on your hands. For City News, I'm Mike Yanni.